Hey, what up guys and gals? Jesse here from Long Lost Robots. Today, I wanna kinda of finish off this idea that I had put together last night. Now, the main topic of this video is staying on top of your projects, whether that's in your MPC or in your DAW or with whatever you're using to make your songs. Guys, if you don't label things, if you're not keeping track of where you are, your songs are never going to get finished. One way is to label your songs or just name them. Very simple. You can see I have my intros here. I have my verse, verse B. Now, you know I don't like to do that when I'm working with the NPC, but sometimes when you're just moving along, you got to move fast. I have a chorus and a chorus breakdown. Now, with this song, it's very um, it's very simple. It's, it's kind of like a punk rock song. It's like uh, New Order, it's like New Wave or post-punk. It's got the synthesizers, real bass guitar, just really fun lyrics, um, a very catchy song, in my opinion at least. But I want to go over, I want to get the song finished. I know the intro is good. I think the verses are good. Let's pick up my, pick up my bass. Um, we're going to do this in real time, guys, because... As you know, we got to get these songs finished. Um, this is how I like to work. I don't. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this with as less edits as possible. But of course, there are gonna be a major, uh, major edits going on in these videos. Um, please uh, like, subscribe. It's the only way a small, uh, small channel like mine can grow. Let's get started. Let's check out the verse. Excellent. What is verse B? Let's check it out. The Selena should kick in. A lot of my sounds are done. I know some of them aren't as spectacular, but I'm learning. And that's the whole point. All right, so everything is sounding pretty good. Of course, you know, I like to have my bass on me as I'm writing because, you know, it allows me to keep track of where I'm at. I wrote the song in the bass. Uh, the song, um, the, the chorus, the main chorus just came to my head, so you know how I like to do it. I like to get going. Let's see where we're at with this. See, and that's just the Deep Mind 12, that drone. right there let's go with that we're gonna have an overdub let's go into the edit see there's my long one kind of hear that a little bit more now Check out how that bass is going. Makes it a little bit more exciting, right? You can hear that Selena, you can hear the JU06. Yeah. As you can see, it is pulsating with post-punk goodness. So I'm not doing the vocals yet because we're going to, you know, kind of save that for last a little bit. But let's go ahead and keep going. That is fixed in my opinion. Um, notice there are no drum fills as well. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit. But now here's the breakdown. Let's go ahead and go over that. Start from the top. G. to kind of do this. Right. So one of the easiest ways, and of course this is going to make the song easier to build in the MPC is to, excuse me, just copy this down over. So we're going to copy, uh, excuse me, we're going to double the length. Let's see how we are right there. Double the Like we're going to double it one more time and then we're going to erase the last bar of a four i believe because it's eight bars now last bar of four get that little and we're going to go ahead and move forward arrangement window here piano roll and we should be able to get rid of this whole thing right here right 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 oh. 
It's one thing about this NPC is they do make it difficult sometimes. If I cut all that, we should be able to cut that. Let's start from the top. Did that last night? I can't believe I did that. It's not bad. All right, let's try that. An overdub. Press play. Uh, press play. Start. Selena, we're gonna. Um, I love using my new controller, my new bigger controller. It just allows me to start making up chords and creating my own chords. Of course, the chords have been created before, but allows me to get creative. Um, let's switch to the Selena, and the Selena is gonna drag out because you can see this one's kind of like bump, 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 more of a stabbing motion. The Selena is gonna cover that up a little bit and just kind of drown it out. So not too bad. I mean, that's the whole game. You got to get things going. You got to get your ideas down. Don't be afraid to experiment. That's not gonna be right. Let's see, let's double that again. We're gonna double it. Okay, two, two, three, four. Imagine no lyrics, right? The song's just getting started. So what does this what does this all mean? What does it all mean, my friends? Let's see if we can do some fills really quick. Um, so we're gonna go. One thing I like about the NPC, look at that. I can just go right into my drums. Um, the thing that I have with my drums, of course, is I go into custom and I have it all mapped out. Thank God that worked, or it would have been embarrassing too. 
the MPC. So let's go ahead and play. Let's see if we can add some, some type of like fills. Okay. We can always erase some of that if we needed to. Okay, let's keep going. Cool. And on that, on the chorus, what I want to do is let's go into the grid mode. Um, we're going to cut all of that in favor of hopefully for that, right? And maybe add some claps in the chorus, just change things up, mm, open that right up. Um, let's see if we can do that. So there's my hi-hats, let's see what happens. Let's get rid of that, let's cut it. Um, let's overdub, two, three, four. In the future, we're living in the future. We're living in the future. We're living in the future. See, now it just opens up, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to hold up on um, some of the fills on this one because I want to get a little deeper behind the scenes when I'm done with the video. But let's go into song mode and let's see what we're doing. So, in the song mode here, nothing there. We're going to insert. Uh, we're going to go to intro one time. We're going to insert. We're going to go into the first verse. That should be a one time, right? Oops. Let's go into the second one. That'll be uh, verse B, right? Uh, we're going to have a chorus after that. Let's check that out. Let's see something really quick. Check one, check, check one, two. Check. Let's see where we're at. We're going to start. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Start it off, right? Check. My girlfriend came in the mail today. The batteries weren't charged, but that's just okay. Oh, I went down to the coffee shop and weathered later all the stops and upgraded her personality. I'm living in the future. 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 Okay, cool. So now that we're here, let's insert another one. And what does that mean that I can go into, but we're gonna go ahead and insert another one, the verse B, and then we're gonna insert the chorus. Then we're gonna insert the chorus breakdown, right guys? And then um, let's go ahead and just do a verse B after that. And then we're gonna insert a chorus and we're gonna double it up. Got a little runny nose here, guys. All right, so now at this point, this should all just run down. Now imagine if this was a lot longer because I have too many short bars as verses and, and it's now I have like a verse A, a verse B, a verse C, and all, you know, just start doubling it inside the sequence and it should be a lot uh, easier to handle here in song mode. Let's go ahead and play and see where we're at. You're living in the future. You're living in the future. You're living in the future. Uh oh.
I went all around the world today without leaving my room. I saw it on the big screen TV, shoved into my head. Oh, I didn't want to go stand up estimation. Everybody said that you never ever want to be forever one step at a no, no, no. You're living in my future. 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 Oh, fine, boy, maybe oh, And you won't be ever so down to this world Fine, boy, to the fall And you know that I'm stuck Everyone that I could be here Everyone I said would be We're living in our future. 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 So Look, not too shabby, guys. I mean, you can see just in this video alone, with a little bit of editing, editing um, what am I at? 38 minutes, 40 minutes, I was able to go in, correct my song, start making the, uh, the right adjustments on parts, volume-wise, fills on drums, length on things, and it's just no matter what you're using, I promise you, whether it's a DAW, MPC, or another form of controller that you're using, even a workstation, keyboard workstation, keep things labeled. Keep things longer in the in the pattern or sequence that you're using. That way, when you string it together, the song is shorter and just stay organized. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below. What's your workflow? Do you like working in sections like I do? I know that's the best way for me to, uh, to write, even when I'm in the DAW. Verses, choruses, bridges. This is a super easy song, I know, but it's still very fun and powerful in its meaning. Anyways, guys, I hope you are making some beautiful music. Take care.